Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with another video from the closed alpha of Battlefield 5. And I want to focus this video on some of the reactions that we've seen from not only my gameplay, my stream, my videos, but what seems to be the opinions of the majority of the players in the Battlefield community. Now, the reactions to this game has been very, very negative. Now obviously with a franchise that is as big as the Battlefield franchise actually is, there is, of course, people that would have all kinds of opinions and there will be thousands and thousands of people that will be very positive to it, no matter what. Overall, however, I get a very clear indication that uh, it's been a downward spiral when it comes to the reactions of Battlefield 5 ever since the release of the trailer and the announcement with Trevor Noah. So what is it that DICE have done this time that uh, has created these kinds of reactions? Well, one of the most obvious things is that they're trying to ride the hype of the survival games, or should I say, the Battle Royale type games. There are aspects of Battlefield 5 that clearly comes from games that has had some major success over the last year or so. Now, whether or not the actual implementation of Battle Royale is going to have a positive, negative, or any kind of effect at all, well, that remains to be seen, of course. But I think, aside from just riding the hype, there is another problem with the dev team, or maybe it's EA, that I would like to address as well. And that is the way that DICE or EA looks at their game or how they want to present their game. Because many times, and this goes back to uh, several t titles in the past, many times I feel like they want to look at their game or present their game as if they were talking about a movie and not a game. And the important difference here is that a game is something that you play over and over again, over months and in some cases also years, or at least a multiplayer game such as Battlefield. While a movie, the thing that is epic and cool with the movie, would quickly lose its effect if it starts becoming repetitive. But a game needs to be interesting even when it is repetitive. For example, one of the things that I really dislike about the Battlefield is animations. Here in Battlefield 5, it is the revive animation that I really dislike, and that is despite the fact that it doesn't seem to be all that bugged. As far as I believe, the only part of the revive animation that I've seen that seems bugged is when you freeze up right after a revive. Whoa! What happened? Why can't I fucking move? I got stuck in that uh, crouch running, I think. <laughs> now one of the things about animations is that when they are new, they are easy to use as a way of presenting the game to make it look really, really cool. While when you play the game, many times they only have the opposite effect. Now the same thing can be said about the changes to the amount of ammo that you have, both when you spawn in and also when you resupply. This as well as the lack of passive healing. These changes can be presented with words like hardcore and skill-based, tactical and so on, even though there is nothing about these changes that indicates that you need more skill in order to be successful in this game. As a matter of fact, there are many indications that it's the very opposite, where a skilled player, after having some success, is going to be punished by not only having lower health after previous engagements, but also starting to run out of ammo. Now what's important to understand is that when I'm criticizing a game, I'm doing that for the purpose of providing feedback that hopefully is going to make the game better. What is also important is of course to listen to people that have different opinions compared to yourself. And one of the first points I want to make here is that Battlefield 5 does have a lot of features and a lot of sim similarities to other Battlefield titles. Parts of the combat and parts of the movements feels very very similar and so does the gameplay as a whole. The maps looks very detailed and very well made. The gunplay doesn't really stand out that much. I think it's to some degree rel relatively similar to what we've seen in the past. So in its core, this is another Battlefield title and the Battlefield titles are popular for a reason. Then of course you have the standard comment when you're testing an alpha game. It's not the finished game, it's alpha. 
Yeah, that is true. But if you look at what uh, we have still have in Battlefield 1 and compare that to the things that we pointed out during the beta and that we also saw during the alpha, well, that makes me quite a bit concerned. So now for the million dollar question. What do you think about what you've seen or what you've experienced with the alpha so far? Please let the rest of us know in the comment section below the video. My name is Matthias. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I took C. We've taken objective Charlie, We've soldiers. Taken the objective, chums. <laughs> Huh. Cozy. Get fixed with that, soldier. Fuck was that? No ammo. I didn't know it was a guy. Thanking. Damit kommst du wieder auf die Beine. Oh, move. with that soldier first aid soldier more first aid spotted an enemy machine gunner It's an interesting match this. We're I feel like we're losing this. I 
think we have some good players in both teams actually. smoke over there so the sniper couldn't get me I almost killed him but ah shit fix yourself with that oh this is a risky revive you can't die there my friend coming from here. Oops. Do I see snipers there or is it the... yourself with that. Countess kill. Soldier! We've lost objective, soldier! 